Hi everyone, uh, welcome back. And now at this point of time, with your NEET MDS preparation, if you're wondering whether four months is enough to crack NEET MDS exam, then I think the answer is a yes. Even though you may have been late in your preparation or you have been busy with commitments, there is still a very good chance that you can do a very good uh, attempt to your NEET MDS 2026 exam. Yes, definitely. In these last four months, you cannot do any random reading. What you need is the right strategy and planning and you have to execute all those plans into action. Only then you can achieve your desired rank in the NEET MBA 2026 exam. So let's say now uh, we are closer to December and if the exam is in April or not mid of April, that's what we are anticipating. You have technically four months left. Now are four months enough to break down your strategy, do you have some suggestions in terms of how to utilize these four months for NEET 2026 exam? Yes. So the first step is you have to lay the foundation in your first months where you will start with your eight or nine core subjects like ortho, oral path, etc. And then simultaneously you have to start using our marathon as well as the national mocks. Because you cannot skip the national mocks for last because then all the subjects will pile up. and do not think that you are not prepared. Whatever it, whatever preparation you have done, if you have done three or four subjects also, you should always give the mock right from the beginning now. So now that you have four months left in your uh, preparations, let's split it. Okay. So month one, you are building your basic. You are looking at all the fundamental subjects that have high weightage. And we have a lot of these videos where the previous year question papers have been split down into certain topics that will help you map which topics are important, which subjects carry more weightage. So I really recommend that you start watching those videos. It will also give you an idea of what kind of questions to expect and of prepares you for the exam in a better sense. In the first month, focus on the important subjects. Now, in my opinion, the important subjects are the clinical subjects. Uh, so oral paths plus uh, you can focus on cons, endo, prosto, oral surgery, uh, pharmacology. All these are high weighted subjects. And you will see a lot of questions from them. So start start with these and start mixing in your uh, favorite comfortable subjects simultaneously. But the plan is to build a base with these subjects. Every day you start reading first and then solve a few MCQ. And you know, you start revising. Daily you have to devise a plan. And that's when that's very important at this point. Because if you don't have a plan, then you are, you know, not going to work in a very systematic way. Now, one very as important aspect of this book is to also take the weekend national mocks. So say this week I am preparing two or three subjects. I am focusing on cons, endo, prosto, and materials. I'm focusing on some two, three random subjects. Okay. Now I must take the national mocks on the weekend. That is, there is no escape from that. Even though you think that you're not prepared, even though you think that it is you know, going to be a waste of time. Trust me, it is one practice that's going to make or break your preparation. What happens in these national mocks? You will have questions from all the subjects and you will attempt all the questions, whether you know them or not. Okay. This helps you review. This kind of adds more knowledge base to your existing preparation. But focus on the output of whatever subjects you prepared. So whatever core subjects you were preparing this week, Look how you performed in those four subjects specifically and what you missed in those subjects. And it is absolutely very necessary to review all these explanations because explanations will have all the other information that you need for that foundational uh, buildup, right? And when you have this explanation, uh, when you read these explanations, then you can solve more questions eventually. Yeah. And also when you are reviewing the explanations, you have to make sure that you are always looking for, you are reading all the options and you, so that you can cover effectively four questions within one question itself. And also you have to follow the AI recommendations where you, you will get to know what are your weak subjects and every subsequent exam, you have to make sure that you are improving on those key weak areas. So look, I'm, I'm just going to add a screenshot here. This is one of the AI recommendations for some hypothetical student. It kind of shows exactly the split up of how much you scored in a subject and what should be your strategy for the next uh, preparation, right? So in the next week, you will incorporate those AI recommendations in your preparation. 
and then keep tracking your success every weekend so this is not only preparing you subject wise but it's also giving you a real life interface of the exam and that is so important i cannot emphasize enough that if you do not have that experience you are going to feel very lost on the day of exam so take these mocks more regularly like don't don't even think of skipping them unless there is some very important reason to skip it mocks are very important and along with the mocks the mar- marathon is also important in the marathon you will get more around 3000 plus questions from your entire topics and all those topics which are there included in the marathon are the high yield topics which will fetch you the maximum questions in your neat mds exam right so for those who are new to marathoners who don't know what marathon is that's exactly what dr sahil said it is high yield questions what are high yield questions these topics have a very high chance of being seen in the exam because they repeat over the years i don't mean to say the questions will repeat the way same same way they are in marathon but the concepts they are they are the most important concepts and you should definitely practice these 3000 questions to prepare for your neat 2026 now what does marathon do different why is it different from your uh, other books available out there or any question bank or whatever other resources marathon has the explanations very specifically curated from standard reference textbooks from the neat uh, curriculum so whatever textbooks are followed by neat the marathon explanation is very specific to that that means sick or hudin say uh, if you are talking about uh, uh, adrenaline and its effect on basal constriction and if you have so many points to remember all of them are in the same place and you can easily bookmark these questions and review them closer to the end of your preparation so marathon is like previous year question papers with amazing explanations with explanatory videos for that have option elimination and strategic uh, understanding and it helps you revise later during your preparation yes very well explained by dr ramin so marathon is basically we have clubbed all the important things into one booklet and we are producing it to you just for the final push so in the last one month you can just do the marathon and you can cover all the important topics along with the previous year question papers so that means that in the next 4 months you should be able to focus on the fundamental subjects for the first month a uh, second month you do all your other subjects or whatever is missed out third month you are going to focus on these previous year papers marathon uh your important bookmark questions and fourth month you are going to revise everything that you perform now that being said revision is a very important key to your preparation and you have to revise daily so dr sahil how uh, we've also talked spoken about this in a video before let's just recap how you should be breaking down your day or the daily schedule including revision yes so when we specifically talk about the last four months the revision aspect is one of the most important aspect now during revision the most important goal is that you have to divide your day into two or three chunks and in the first chunk always try with the start with the bigger subject for example you are doing oral pass or you are doing pharmac so you start with those subject in the early model like let's say from 6 to 12 or 6 to 10 you can start with those big su- subjects subjects like dadh radio etc which will hardly take one or two hours to do two to three chapters those you can keep for the evening and in the center part that is in the afternoon after lunch you can start with the national mocks or the other mocks right so that is your preparation phase during the day you will spend say 6 hours by hours how much ever you want to dedicate to reading solving mcq solve like 150 to 200 and skills on a day on an average to be able to get a good flow of working okay because you need speed for your day of exam as well now at the end of the day whatever you have prepared and whatever you have done in correct whatever is important spirit out of that content and read again at the end of the day revise it because that is the most important key for your preparation and one more thing is there the number of hours so for those who are starting now it's very important that you give at least 10 to 12 hours from now itself because you cannot give less hours and expect a better result uh for those who have already taken this exam before and if this is your second or uh, x number of attempt i really want you to also reflect on your previous years performance see the subjects identify your uh, you know areas which 
where you did not perform well, try to analyze what went wrong in your previous M and work on those foundational knowledge, okay? Sometimes what we feel is that, okay, this is the right answer and we move ahead and we don't read about that topic because we think, okay, we know this in LR. But there is always something that you might have missed and it is very necessary for you to keep revising the theoretical explanation as well. Side by side, you have to solve MCQ. That's that's no uh, no question about that. But you also have to read explanations because your questions will be from the Yes. Reading explanations is important, more important than solving the MCQs. Because from explanations, you can get four or five MCQs. But from an MCQ, you cannot get more than one explanation. Right. So now that you know what Meritor's Marathon is and National Mocks are and what the AI recommendations can do for you, start using these tools. Okay. Uh, get back to your fundamental foundational buildup and then work on it step by step. Come with a plan and use this time very efficiently. It's not too late and you definitely can use this uh, next set of four, four and a half months and prepare really well and get a very good score out of it to get a good seat. Yes, just remember, failing to plan is planning to fail. With this, we will leave you. Yeah. Well said. So all the best and uh, just uh, drop a comment below if you have any questions. And if you need more information, visit our uh, app, MDS Crep. You can download it from App Store on Play Store. And if you have uh, any concerns, any package related uh, questions, just call our customer support and we'll be very happy to help you. Uh, our mentorship is available in our WhatsApp groups. So if you have any doubts during your preparation, don't hesitate to reach out to us and we will get back to you immediately. All the very best and see you. All the best.